nine months after your channel exposed the dodgy deal between AM Car and Films, two senior CBI officials have left for London to question the owner, Ashish Patel. Times now had in July of 2010 travelled to London and investigated the dubious car deal between AM Films and ex-CWGOC Suresh Kalmadi. It was this exclusive expose which opened the can of worms in the CWG corruption. In fact, Poonam is reporting on the story. Poonam, what's the latest information you're getting? Well, the latest information, what we've gathered that yesterday, uh, CBI team uh, went to London to top officials, uh, uh, the DIG, uh, Suresh Balsania, and the additional director, VK Gupta, both of them who had been, who's investigating the uh, case very closely. They've, uh, they've gone to London to question, speci especially Ashish Patel, who's one of the accused in the case, and also the owner of AM Films and AM Cars. The reason why the top officials have gone to London now, because they do not want to waste any further time. Already, CBI has sent a letter regulatory to London uh, to the to, uh, to UK government uh, seeking information on these two companies. But that process does take a long time. Uh, on the other hand, CBI is saying that we do not want they do not want to waste further time in filing the charge sheet, and for that they need to uh, question Ashish Patel and know more about these companies. So that is the main purpose of these two officials go for going to London. And what we are gathering is that they are likely to come back within a uh, span of three to four days after questioning Ashish Patel and getting more information on the companies. Right. Thanks, Poona, for giving us those details. In fact, in July of 2010, Times now travelled to London and tracked down AM cars and films. And the firm, which was hired by the CWG Organising Committee for the Queen's Bait and Relay. Now, your channel exposed the dubious money trail between the CWG OC and the AM cars and films. Times have also contacted Ash Patel, the owner of AM Cars and Films in London. Repeated attempts were made to contact him, but he was repeatedly evasive over the matter. Times now also is the only channel to have all the documents which nail Suresh Kalmadi to the massive CWG overlay scam. No other channel has the entire document trail except uh, your channel which exposed the dubious UK money trail. Right, in fact, we'll have our political editor Navika Kumar join us on the phone line to give us the latest information in, with regards to this case. But uh, to tell you the latest now, let's tell you the Times now is the only channel to have the documents which nail Suresh Kalmadi to the massive CWG overlay scam. And no other channel has the entire set of document uh, except for Times now which exposed the dubious UK, UK money trail. And uh, signatures on the letters, of, uh, remember, were okaying the payments in the AM films uh, scam. Uh, Navika, tell us how do you, uh, you know, what really can we expect now in this case going ahead? Well, it's very clear the CBI is following the money trail. Uh, they have written letter rogatories, but uh, uh, reply to these letter rogatories normally uh, takes time. The fact that it was the UK Customs uh, Department that had informed the Indian government is something that the CBI is going to use in this case. They're going to use uh, uh, the UK Customs Department to really find out the objections that had been filed by the Customs Department earlier uh, in July last year. And they're going to use that as a trail to try and get and find out uh, exactly uh, what the companies of Ash Patel are doing. From what we had gathered uh, as Times Now investigation in July last year, Ash Patel's companies were dubious front companies uh, where he had uh, set up new companies, changed directors, and in fact, at the time when the contract was awarded, there was no director on the board of uh, uh, AM Car and Films, and, and how such huge contracts were given to a company without a tendering procedure, without a proper contract, that was something that was questioned by the UK authorities, and that's something that the CBI is now going to investigate when they are in London.